Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design an about us page for your website. So this is how it looks. Let me just reload this page. And we can see when we reload this page, uh, we have this animation over here, which goes from zero to the number right here. So here, first of all, we have an image, then we have some uh, description. Then we have these uh, numbers over here. And then we have the our team section where we have our team members and their names and designations over here. And then lastly, we have our mission. So this is what we're going to design in this video. And in the next video, I'll show you how to add this to your blogger and your WordPress websites. So let's get started. All right, so I have this project opened over here in VS Code. And I also have a folder called images where we have stored all the images. We have the court icon and uh, then uh, the team members. All right, so let's go ahead and start by creating an HTML file. So if you just press Control Shift P, you can get this uh, command window and uh, just press enter to create a new file. And we'll just create an index.html file. We'll create one more file called style.css. And we'll start with the index.html file. We'll just type exclamation and press tab. And you'll get this HTML5 boilerplate code. Let's start by linking our CSS file. Now we'll create a division with a class of about container to contain everything. And in that we'll start with this image. So we'll just give it a class of profile image. And uh, in that we'll add the img tag. And here we'll type images slash team member four. And we'll just open this in our browser. So I'll just click on open with live server. You need to have this extension called live server for this to work. All right, this is our image. Now let's go ahead and uh, start with the description. So we'll create a division with a class of description. And in that we'll create a couple of paragraphs. So first paragraph, We'll just add some lines of code. We'll just type lorem and press 15 and then press tab and you'll get this 15 words of some random text. We'll just add two more paragraphs. All right, that's it with the description. So here we can see the image and the description. Now let's add uh, the projects. So if you go to the original design, we can see that this is the project section. We have the websites designed and the apps developed. So we'll create a division for that. So we get out of the description division and uh, here we'll create a division with a class of project container, or projects container. And in that we'll have two projects. So for the first one, we'll create a division with a class of project. And in that we'll have a heading three with a class of project name. And here we'll just type websites designed. And then we'll have another division with a class of project number. And here we'll type zero. This is the initial value. We'll use a library to count up to whatever value we want when uh, the page loads. So let's see what we are up to. So here we have websites designed and uh, the number. I'll just copy this and paste it one more time and here we will type apps developed and uh, this also will have the initial value of zero all right that's it with the project section now let's go ahead and uh, see what is the next one so the next section is the our team section so let's create a heading for this we'll create a heading with a class of our team heading and we'll type our team over here. And then we'll create a division with a class of our team. And uh, in that we'll have the team members. So for each of the team member, we'll have a division with a class of team member. And in that we'll have the image of the person. So first of all, we'll type IMG. And in the source, we'll type team member one dot PNG. And then we have the name of the person and the designation. So here we'll create a division with a class of designation. 
and in that we'll add the name and the designation. So for the first name, we will type Alice J. And then for the designation, we'll just type project manager. Now here we can see the name and the designation, but the name in our original design is bold. So we can do that over here in our HTML. We have to add a tag called strong and then we'll wrap it around whatever we want to be bold. All right, so now we have set the font weight of Alice J to bold. So here we can see the name is bold and then we have the designation. So let's copy this team member division and uh, we'll paste it two more times. And for the second one, we'll have team member two. For the third one, we'll have team member three. And uh, let me just change the name and the designation. Right, so we are done with the team members. So let's go over here and uh, we can see that everything is working all right. Now the last thing we need to do is add our mission. So let me just copy this and uh, let's go over here to the HTML and we'll create a division with the class of our mission. And uh, in that we'll have the image of the quote icon. So I'll just type images slash quote icon. And then we we'll have a paragraph and we'll just paste the text over here. That's basically it with the markup of our uh, about us page. So we have all the elements ready for styling. We'll be styling this page in the next video, but before that, let's add the animation for uh, these numbers. So for that, we'll be using a library called Odometer. Just search for Odometer library and uh, you'll find this website. So we'll just go to the home page. And uh, here is the library. If you scroll down, you can see all the different effects that it has. So it has a lot of awesome effects right here. We'll use the simplest effect. So first of all, let's add the CDN link. So we'll search for uh, Odometer Library CDN.js. And uh, let's go to the website. And let's search for Odometer. And this is the library, so let's open it. And we'll copy the JavaScript and the CSS. So first of all, let's copy this odometer min.js from here. And we'll go to our HTML and just before the body ends, we will add this link. So we'll just type script src and here we'll just paste the link. Now in the same way, we will add the link of the CSS. So let's go to CSS and uh, we'll select the odometer theme default min CSS and we'll copy it and paste it over here in the head section. So here we'll just type link and uh, in the href we'll just paste the link. Now you have to add a class called odometer to any of the elements that you want this animation to happen. So if we scroll down we can see that uh, we have this division called project number in which we have this value and we want to animate this. So we'll add one more class over here called odometer. And we'll just copy this class over here in the second project number as well. Now we need to reference these two divisions in our JavaScript. So we will add one more class for both of them. So for this one, we'll just add a class of websites designed. And uh, for this one, we'll just add a class of apps developed. Let's go back to our page and see whether everything is working all right. So everything is working fine. Now let's add JavaScript so that we can make the animation work. So here we will add a script tag and in that we'll add the JavaScript. So first of all, let's reference the websites designed and the apps designed divisions. So we'll type const websites designed equals document dot query selector dot websites designed. So this will reference the websites designed division and it will store it inside this constant. We'll do the same to reference the other division as well. So apps developed document dot query selector apps developed. Now let's add a timeout so that the animation starts after some time after the page loads. 
so we'll type set timeout and uh, for the timeout we'll just set 400 milliseconds and uh, in here we just need to set the inner HTML of the elements to whatever value we want so we'll type websites designed dot inner HTML equals so the number was 43 for this one and apps developed dot inner HTML equals and I will just type 15 now let's reload this page and uh, see whether the animation works for these two values and the animation is not working so let's right click over here and go to inspect and see whether we have any errors so let's go to console and we have an error over here on line 85 cannot set property in our HTML of null so let's go to our HTML at line number 85 and uh, this is line number 85 so this constant is null so let's go over here this is where we are referencing it so let's see whether we have any typo and uh, here we can see we have a typo it should not be desynced it should be designed so I think that will solve the problem so let's refresh this page and we can see that the animation is working all right so that's basically it for this video in the next video we will style this page so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and uh, if you enjoyed this video please click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day